Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a pregnancy of about 8 weeks with mother having a gutter later cyst. The duration of the pregnancy is about 8 weeks. You can see the gestation sac having a embryo which is alive. You can see the fetal cardiac activity. And again, uh, later in this video, you will see the blood flow is also seen in the embryo. This is embryo. This is the gestation sac having this em embryo. The cyst is sound, found in the right iliac fossa, gut related cyst. You can see now you can see the embryonic cardiac activity by the naked eye. You will see now the fetal cardi uh, the embryonic cardiac activity. Now it is clearly visible. So the fetus is eco normal. If the embryo is growing correctly, there is no uh, and there is a sufficiently strong heartbeat. This suggests that the pregnancy will continue and the risk of pregnancy loss is low. An ultrasound can also examine other pelvic organs to check for the causes of bleeding. For example, an ovarian cyst may cause bleeding. But in this case, there is a gut related cyst. Vaginal bleeding during pregnancy can be scary. However, it is always it is not always a sign of trouble. Bleeding in the first trimester might occur, and most women who experience bleeding during pregnancy go on to deliver normal healthy babies. Now you can see the blood flow is also seen inside the embryo. So the embryo is eco -maco normal. An ovarian cyst during pregnancy is usually of no uh, concern. Most ovarian cysts are harmless, painless and go away on their own. Ovarian cysts do not normally cause symptoms either, although if a cyst ruptures, it can be painful. So in this case, the embryo is eco normal. Now you can see the gut related cyst and it is seen in the right iliac fossa. The cyst has a thick fluid in its interior. The patient is experiencing pain but the embryo is eco normal and it is most likely that pregnancy will go on normally. It will progress normally. Gastrointestinal cysts are fluid sacs that may appear anywhere in the digestive tract or system. The digestive tract consists of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Enteric duplication cysts are rare congenital anomalies found anywhere along the gastrointestinal tract from the mouth to the rectum, most commonly in the ileum 33%, followed by esophagus 20%, colon 13%, jejunum 10%, stomach 7% and duodenum 5%. The symptoms of the duplication cyst at presentation in general vary by size and location but the most common pre uh, presentation includes abdominal pain followed by nausea and vomiting then there may be palpable mass rectal bleeding and interception esophageal and oral cyst may cause feeding difficulty and respiratory distress if they are found in the fetus the 
there are many types of cysts dermoid cysts ganglion cyst lipoma papillomatrix trichoma uh, then pyogenic granuloma and sebaceous cysts you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks